Weston Ottawa is taking a three-phase approach to implementing LED lighting throughout the building. The first phase was all of our public area lighting, which was on 24 hours a day. Uh, it had the uh, most significant uh, incentive program offered by um, Hydro Ottawa, uh, where we changed out 4,000 bulbs in, in the lobbies, pre-function areas, all of our guest corridor hallways, our ballrooms. Phase two of that project will now see us go into all 500 guest rooms through the building. Uh, if, you, if we look at the entire size of the building, about 30% of our electrical demand comes out of the guest rooms alone, so that's going to be a significant uh, portion. Phase three of the project will see us change out all the lighting in it to our fire exit stairwells, um, back of house areas, housekeeping areas, um, kitchens, uh, offices, things like that. All in all, we plan to change about 10,000 light bulbs in the building. Uh, the entire project has about a 1.5 year payback with a five year warranty on the light bulbs and a, an amazing incentive from Hydro Ottawa. It was just an incredible project to undertake. These areas use several different lighting technologies. In addition to the electricity savings gained by upgrading to LED, guests and staff will also enjoy the non-financial benefits. MR16s give off a lot of heat. About 85% of that heat is eliminated when upgrading to LED. LED lights also last 10 to 20 times longer, so building operators can schedule fewer maintenance days. LED T8 tubes last twice as long compared to fluorescents. They also easily integrate with lighting controls. This is an essential feature if you really want to compound your energy savings and extend the system's lifetime. These CFLs were replaced with LED A19s. The LED versions last at least five times longer, are instant on, and have fewer failures when enclosed in a fixture.